graduates, family, and friends. My name is Joshua Gert. I've been the chair of the philosophy department since 2018. This is the end of my three-year term, so I feel a real kinship with this year's graduates. We've all finished a demanding multi-year task and are about to discover what freedom is. It is typical of commencement addresses to contain advice to graduates, but I'm going to delegate that task to their parents and friends who know them better than I do. Instead of advising anyone, I'm going to do a little philosophy. I hope it will interest you enough that you'll forgive me for being a recording. At the very least, it should show parents the kind of questions their children have been thinking about for the past few years. This past semester, I taught a seminar on a relatively new approach to philosophy called neopragmatism. The pragmatism in this name signals that it has something to do with usefulness or human practices, and the neo signals that it is a new and shiny version of a view that has been advanced in the past by American philosophers like William James and Peirce. One way of thinking of neopragmatism is as a theory of truth, that is, of what true means. I think a lot of people might have a very quick answer to the question, what is it for a statement to be true? That quick answer is, it's true if it corresponds to the facts. But then we need to know what a fact is. And there's a quick answer to that too. Facts are true propositions as opposed to false ones, which are fiction. But this pair of questions and answers results in a very small definitional circle. Truth is defined in terms of fact, and fact in terms of truth, plus the mysterious notion of a proposition. Possibly we could make this circle of definitions a little bigger by inserting the notion of reality in there somewhere, but that won't give us much insight if reality is defined in terms of facts or truth or some combination of the two. Neopragmatism says that the whole project of defining truth is misguided. Rather than defining it, we should just explain what we are doing, what practical task we are involved in, when we use the words true and false. And the neopragmatist's answer is that we use these words to influence other people when they say things, and that the purpose of having words that function in this way is that it helps us all get into agreement about the kinds of stuff that it is useful to be in agreement about. For example, it's pretty useful for us to be in agreement in our attitudes about what sorts of behavior it would be a good idea to punish. Those are the attitudes we express by saying things like, cheating on your taxes is wrong. It should be pretty clear that agreement on moral matters and the ability to apply the pressures of moral argument are pretty useful things in a society. Another example of useful agreement concerns the order in which the number words go, which we might partially express by saying five comes after four. Again, it isn't very mysterious that it is very helpful if people all learn to count in the same way. What is interesting about the neopragmatist's way of thinking about how true and false work is that the same explanation goes for all declarative sentences. It doesn't matter if those sentences are about the kinds of properties and entities that philosophers have been very puzzled about, like moral wrongness or numbers, or if those sentences are about the location of a sharp rock on the path. If it's useful for people to come to anticipate that sharp rock in the right place, the neopragmatist has an explanation for our assessing claims about that rock and its location as, as true or as false. Neopragmatism explains why it is perfectly in order for us to talk about moral facts and mathematical facts and to think of them as just as factual, just as much a part of reality, as physical or chemical facts or facts about sharp rocks. Many philosophers take a different view. They think that moral properties are unreal in some way. Certainly, they can't be measured with scientific equipment, and they are really worried about the numbers, since they find mathematical truths to be among the most certain truths there are, but they can't explain what numbers are, or where they are located, or how we come to know anything about them. Behind these worries is something like the following thought. If you can't see it or touch it, if you can't detect it with sufficiently sensitive scientific equipment, it isn't real. But let me tell you, your achievement today is real. All the knowledge you've gained is real. Its value is real, and the future is real. Congratulations, really. Now let me allow the members of the philosophy department to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Victoria Costa.
I do research and I teach in political philosophy, ethical theory, and applied ethics, especially medical ethics. I want to congratulate the class of 2021 for finishing your college studies. It's been a very weird last year. I hope that you enjoy the courses you took with us at the philosophy department. Anyway, uh, you made it. Hello, everybody. Tim Costello here, signing in to wish you many congratulations on having finished your degree and um, having majored in philosophy, of course. Um, I, like everybody else in the department, hopes that it uh, stands you in good stead for the, for the future. And um, the ways in which it will stand you in good stead are, are yet to be discovered. So um, for those watching this, obviously, who have not been in my classes, um, I teach um, existentialism and uh, various classes in history of philosophy, along with aesthetics and philosophy of art and uh, courses in the core curriculum. Um, well, it was a pleasure to uh, have taught all of you, those I taught, and um, good luck for the future. Bye. Hello, I'm Professor Paul Davis. If we, the philosophy faculty, have done our jobs, then you, the philosophy graduate, are now knee-deep in the process of acquiring the skills and knowledge with which to live a good life, to become an ever more interesting person, uh, to make some part of the world a better place for our species. So congratulations, and please keep in touch. But in the meantime, get out there, do good work, give us the satisfaction of knowing that we have indeed done our jobs. Hello, William and Mary graduates. Congratulations. It's been great getting to know some of you over the past several years in courses including Life and Death and the Human Self and Philosophy of Religion and the Advanced Seminar. I've really enjoyed watching you grow as thinkers and writers. I look forward to hearing back from you about how you're doing in the future. Again, congratulations to all of you. Hi, I'm Chris Fryman. I teach courses in ethics and social and political philosophy. And I wanted to say thank you for all of your hard work and perseverance this year, and congratulations on graduation. Hi, I'm Jonah Goldwater. I want to congratulate you on your graduation. I know that graduating under these circumstances isn't perfect, but you deserve it. You put in a lot of hard work. Congratulations. Hello, there. this is Professor Aaron Griffith, and I teach courses in metaphysics, philosophy of race, and philosophy of gender. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2021. You all overcame an incredibly difficult year to get to this point. So congratulations. Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Guerrero, Assistant Professor of Philosophy at William & Mary, uh, the newest member of the philosophy team here at William & Mary. I specialize in Buddhist philosophy and cross-cultural philosophy. I want to congratulate the class of 2021 for getting through two very hard years to get to this point. You should be very proud of yourselves and the resilience that you've demonstrated in getting through these uh, last two years will certainly help you hopefully as you move forward. I wish you all the best of luck and again, congratulations. Hi, I'm Matt Haug. My research interests lie at the intersection of philosophy of mind, philosophy of science, and metaphysics, and I teach on those issues as well as ethical issues related to neuroscience and data science. Congratulations, graduates. I hope that the resilience that you've demonstrated, especially over these last three semesters, serves you well in the future. My name is Noah Lemos. I teach ancient philosophy, medieval philosophy, ethical theory, and variety of other courses. I'm coming to you today from this safe, secure, and undisclosed location to wish the class of 2021 congratulations. It's been a pleasure teaching you. Stay in touch, and I wish you all the best. I'm Elizabeth Radcliffe, and I teach courses in ethics, early modern philosophy, and the relation between passions and values. I want to wish congratulations to the class of 2021. You have done tremendously in a difficult year. All the best to you as you go forward. I'm sure that your philosophy major will serve you well. Hi, I'm Philip Swenson. I teach um, uh, classes in uh, free will and moral responsibility, ethics, and uh, philosophy of religion, and I do research on those same areas. Um, I just want to say congratulations to all the uh, graduating uh, philosophy majors. Um, it's been a real privilege to get to uh, work with so many of you 
And um, thank you for your contributions to the philosophy community here. And I wish you all the best going forward. Hi, my name is Chris Tucker, and it has been a pleasure to teach the class of 2021. Uh, congratulations to you. For those of you who don't know me, I teach things like critical thinking and philosophy of religion, ethics, theory of knowledge. And my research these days has been involved in what it means to weigh one reason against another. Uh, congratulations again and good luck. Hi, my name's Chad Vance and I wrote you this song. Well, you took some classes and you got some passes and the truth unfurled. You learned about the world and how to live rightly and you studied nightly and you made some friends. And in the end, I'm so happy that you chose philosophy. I hope it helped you grow and learn a lot from me. So now you got some knowledge because you went to college. And I'm so happy that you got your degree. So congratulations on your graduation. And today's the day we sent you on your way. I hope you take with you the lessons that you learned here. And I hope they help you flourish for the rest of your years. I'm so proud of you. Goodbye. Now I would like to announce the outcome of this year's Jerry Miller Essay Competition. Bill Richardson had for many years presented this award since Jerry Miller was his good friend. And it was Bill, along with a number of other people, who set up the endowment that funds the award. It was very important to Bill that Jerry be remembered as a person and not just as the name of an award. So before announcing the winner, let me say just a few words about Jerry. He graduated from William & Mary in 1974 with highest honors in philosophy. He studied law at Oxford, and he was working as a lawyer in Milwaukee when he died in 1984 as the result of complications from a tragic accident. Despite his prodigious intellect and impressive achievements, he is primarily remembered by his friends for being a good friend, and it's because of this that they wanted to remember him. Still, the award is for an academic achievement, and in order to win it, it is necessary to write a paper that is up to the sort of standards that Jerry himself set. There have been years in which no submission was regarded as adequate. I am happy to say th that this is not one of those years, and that this year's winner of the Jerry Miller Award is Jake Beardsley for his essay entitled Gender Identity as narrative. Congratulations, Jake. Here now are the names of the 35 graduates, the members of the philosophy department's graduating class of 2021. Please stay tuned after the reading of these names for some very short videos from a handful of brave uh, uh, graduates who have recorded short videos of farewell to the faculty, their friends, and uh, for their families. Elmira Adili. Neuroscience and Philosophy. Isabella Jane Anderegg, Philosophy. Emily Sophia Bacall, Philosophy and Interdisciplinary Studies in Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies. Tyler Alexander Barrett, Government and Philosophy. Jacob Beardsley, Philosophy in English, with honors in philosophy. Marcus G. Bengtson, Philosophy and Global Studies in Asia and Pacific Islander American Studies. Catherine Elaine Brewster, Philosophy. Gavin Farrell Burkholder, Computer Science and Philosophy. Katsuki Clevenger, Philosophy. Jack Elliott Craver, Philosophy and Government. Parker Riley Dean, Economics and Philosophy. Yuan Dong, Mathematics and Philosophy with Honors in Philosophy. Gustavo Hugo Espinosa, Sociology, Globalization and Philosophy with Honors in Sociology. Sihan Feng, Neuroscience and Philosophy, with honors in neuroscience and honors in philosophy. Andrew Jordan Giddings, English. Neil James Going, Philosophy and Interdisciplinary Studies in Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies, with honors in philosophy. Elisa Bell Gosling, 
Psychology and Philosophy with honors in philosophy. Benjamin Mead Hotchner, Government and Philosophy with honors in government. Harley N. Callett, Philosophy. Spencer Edmund Langley, Philosophy. Yong Kang Lee, Chemistry and Philosophy with honors in philosophy. Gavin A. Meister, Philosophy and Psychology. Lindsay Merillat, English and Philosophy. Sarah Elizabeth Petrus, Philosophy and English. Carlton Barrow Reed III, Philosophy. Brett Ann Restrick, Government and Philosophy with Honors in Philosophy. Adam Gerhard Salinger Mullen, Philosophy. Riley Elizabeth Overcamp Smith, Psychology and Philosophy. Isabella M. St. Arnaud, Business Analytics Data Science. Abba K. Tieku, Government and Philosophy. Billy Jade Van Story, Psychology and Philosophy. Priyanka Danielle Anitra White, Philosophy. Maloney Joy Wright, Philosophy and Theater. Jingyao Xie, Psychology and Philosophy. Catherine Elizabeth Yenser, Philosophy and Government. I'm Emily Bacall. Next year, I will be pursuing a master's in performance studies from NYU. I want to give a huge shout out to all the professors I've had in the department. You guys have all been absolute rock stars. Thank you for dealing with my feminist agenda for four years. Um, and a special shout out to Dr. Costello for being such a great major and research advisor. Hi, I'm Jake Beardsley. Uh, I'm planning to take a gap year and then I'll be applying to philosophy graduate programs in the fall. I'd like to thank Dr. Griffith for being extremely generous with his time as he supervised uh, several of my projects over the last few years. Hi, my name is Katherine Brewster. Next year, I will be attending Eastern Virginia Medical School. It's just down the road in Norfolk, Virginia, and I will be earning my master's in biomedical science and hoping to stay for another four years for medical school. I just want to thank all of the professors that I had in this department. Everything you taught me will help me be a better doctor someday, so thank you all. Hi, my name is Yuan. I am going to pursue a PhD in philosophy at Duke University in the fall. I want to thank Professor Haug for being my major advisor, Professor Gert for directing my senior thesis, from which I learned tremendously, and Professor Davies and Professor Lemos for always being so helpful and so encouraging and for shaping the way I think about philosophy. Hello, I'm Gustavo. I want to thank all the philosophy students that have shared their views and pushed me to get clear on my own beliefs. I also want to thank a handful of professors that really made a mark. Professors Costello, Vance, Griffith, Tucker, and Gert. When I graduate, I'll be doing the quintessential philosophy major thing and looking for a job or applying to law school. Good luck, everyone. Hi, I'm Neil Going. After graduation, I'll work for LGBTQ plus and women's advocacy organizations. Next year, I'll apply to law school and graduate school. I'd like to thank Dr. Griffith for mentoring me in multiple research projects over the past two years. I'd also like to thank my major advisor, Dr. Tucker, for helping me to study philosophy abroad. Hi, my name is Ellie Gosling, and I have had such a fantastic time these past four years in the William Mary Philosophy Department. I would like to give special th shout outs to Professor Vance for being constantly fun and inspiring, to Professor Griffith for being encouraging them over the past four years, and to Professor Fryman for being my major advisor, my thesis advisor, and for providing constant hot takes in class. Thanks. Hello everyone, I'm Yung Kang Kenneth Lee. I would like to give my special thanks to Professor Fryman, be my honors thesis advisor, and make me totally morally problematic. I would also like to thank Professor Costello for letting me have my existential crisis every time in his class. I would also like to thank Professor Vance. His class is just very interesting and gave me such a joy to be a philosophy major. Thank you so much. Hey, my name is Gavin Meister. I also majored in psychology. I'd like to thank Professor Griffith and Professor Haug for really piquing my interest in my first year here. 
And I think after I graduate, I guess I'll keep reading, writing, and look for a job. Hi, my name is Brett Restrick, and next year I'll be getting my master's in bioethics from NYU. I want to give a huge thank you to all the professors that wrote me recommendations for grad school, um, to Professor Swenson for being my thesis advisor, and then to Professor Fryman for being my major advisor, and for teaching me the class sophomore year that made me want to study philosophy. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brianka White. Following graduation, I will be working full-time for about a year or two before attending law school. I will also be doing LSAT prep in that time. I would like to send a special shout out to Professor Radcliffe and Professor Fryman. You guys were my first exposure to philosophy and kind of paved the way for my major. So thank you.